And what people fail to recognise <clears throat> is that their strongest, most direct point of control over their impact on the suffering of fucking animals is the choice about what goes on their fucking dinner plate. Okay? Right there, there's your point of control. Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, it's like worth living, should I blast myself? I'm tired of being a poor. Working hard. Just finished work, so gonna go fucking get some food. But they don't need to be artificially inseminated, raped, and mean? then and then milked Which is like I slaves. Think. I'll put it this way: <laughs> Can you be against cruelty to animals, but still eat a dead animal that's been through torture and uh, factory farming? Is this the lion survival no, 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 justification? No, no, no. no. Oh. See, I like you. <laughs> you're looking for like no, you're no, grabbing no, 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 for no, whatever no, you can. No. You're like, <laughs> oh, what about if I had a chicken and I. I, I no, 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 because combed its feathers and <laughs> waited for its period to come out of its ass and then I fucking put it on my toast. It's like, it's disgusting. It and, you know, my mum, I'm not a racist. I, I like what It's like said. where people say, I'm not a hypocrite, and <laughs> then they say, like, I'm against cruelty to animals, but then they eat a fucking a steak, I, exactly. you know? And I used to be like that. I used to be that person, but yeah. now I, my, no. my morals align with my actions, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm What's going on, everyone? Plate of lettuce, and this is a chalk peanut butter smoothie with dates and bananas. It's about 3,000 calories, this smoothie, mainly because I added like 100 grams of fucking peanut butter to it. I told you I was going mostly raw except for the, the flavorings and stuff. It's fucking epic. Whoa. It's got chocolate, peanut butter, dates, and bananas. If you're not dipping your lettuce in your smoothies, there's something going on. Fuck, that is fucking awesome, man. The peanut butter makes it. I just thought I'd start recording this because I know that if I didn't, I'd probably think of something cool to say. Vegan straight edge, bruh. I met an interesting person today. He seen me carrying a big box of bananas and he started a conversation with me. And of course, the conversation turned to veganism. If you're watching, mate, I know you probably are because I gave you my YouTube channel. Thumbs up. It's killer. We started talking. Now this guy seemed like he was an awakened human. He was awakening. He's gone through the synchronicities and he's, you know, a very spiritual orientated person, okay? Considers himself a compassionate person. We're talking about veganism. And he mentioned that he's against animal cruelty. Okay, that's fine. Most humans are. Oh, most humans think that they are, but they're really not. Because your actions determine whether or not you're against animal cruelty, not your words. Your actions determine whether or not you're violent, not, not necessarily your words. Because I know a lot of violent people that are kind and come across like, hey, how you going? And then all of a sudden, bam. And your, your intention doesn't necessarily make you non-violent. Because you could have the most non-violent intentions, but still be ignorant of the fact of the pain and suffering that you're causing, indirectly or directly. It's a very interesting topic to talk about. We all know, all the vegans watching this, that you cannot be against animal cruelty and eat fucking meat. It's the biggest fucking oxymoron, hypocrisy, contradiction, you name it. This person was very receptive, meaning that he was looking for the information his heart's telling him one thing, but his programming is telling him another. His programming is saying, meat is food, meat is food, I can't give up my steak. His heart is telling him that it's fucking wrong. Alright? And that's the dilemma. Because the programming runs so deep. From since when you were a child, it takes a really awakened human to break free from that programming and, and, and begin to see the truth through the veil, which is why I give so much credit to those who have seen the light, broken away, 
taken actions in their day-to-day life to prevent suffering and not be a walking, talking hypocrite. And I don't mean hypocrite in an offensive way. I'm not trying to be offensive and say, only because people use the word hypocrite in a derogatory manner, as an insult. But if you look up the, the word hypocrite or hypocritical, here we go. Behaving in a way that suggests one has higher standards or more noble beliefs than is, than is the actual case. Now to say that you're compassionate and, and against animal cruelty, but you still eat meat and dairy and eggs is hypocritical. When I was an, an, a meat eater, I knew the hypocrisy that I was a part of. I knew that I was a hypocrite. I knew you couldn't be an animal rights activist and, and have a dead animal on your plate. I knew, I knew what. I just never fucking changed my, my ways. I encourage people to educate themselves about veganism so that when people that are receptive come up and, and ask them questions, you're educated enough to answer and give them facts. Why is that so important? Because the conversation that you have could determine whether or not another animal gets killed the next day. This person I was talking to today was on his way to get a meal of meat, but after our conversation, he changed his mind and he asked me where the nearest vegan restaurant was. Be very careful about preaching of, about compassion and that you're against animal cruelty when your dinner plate t- tells another story. A lot of people have the best intention and their heart is in the right place, but their programming's taken over. They're, too, they're living too much in here. You need to start thinking with your heart. If you stick a knife in an animal's throat and it doesn't feel right, chances are you're going against your heart. You're going against your, your gentle, compassionate nature as a human. And you're doing something that's programmed into your mind. That's why it doesn't feel right. You have to cook up the meat, season it up. You know what I mean? It's just complete programming. It's not natural. If it were natural, you eat it like this lettuce. <clears throat> Happiness gains. No one's perfect. You can't completely have no impact whatsoever on your environment and the things in it. But the goal is is to lessen your impact on the suffering as much as you can. What's within your control? And what people fail to recognise... <clears throat> is that their strongest, most direct point of control over their impact on the suffering of fucking animals is the choice about what goes on their fucking dinner plate. Okay? Right there, there's your point of control. It's not about how compassionate your words are. No. No, we can't stop what's happening around the world completely. We can't all of a sudden overnight change... And, and relieve the suffering of all the humans and animals on the fucking planet. But we can, we can have direct control over what goes on our plate and what goes in our fucking mouth. Simple, mate. Like here, lettuce. There's something called cognitive dissonance, which is just lying to yourself. The programming. You'll never be truly happy unless what you say, what you think... And what you feel are in line with what you do. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. And let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive. And still I see no changes. Can a brother get a little peace? It's war on the streets and the war in the Middle East. Instead of war on peace.